You're watching a tutorial video for the article creator. To create a new article creator task, head over to AI content, article creator, new article creator button. This is your article creator UI. You have your settings tab and you have your inserts tab. To control the task, you have a run button, a save button, and a cancel button. For article settings, the first one you have is article keywords, and this is today's example. We have article variables, which I won't cover, but you can always hover over this icon, and you can see there's a link for a tutorial here. We also have your region and language settings. Here is your article generation types. There are four. The first one is AI articles. Now to enable or disable a generator, you click on this toggle. This is your article prompts. Anything within these orange square brackets are sent as instructions to the AI writer. These purple keywords are considered macros. Keyword macro here will refer to your current article keyword. The language macro here will come from your region and language settings. In this example, it will be English. You can edit your article prompts directly in this text box. If I hover over the macro selections and click on something, you'll see my macro has been added to the article prompt. I have the ability to load and save prompts that I have used before. So these are your default prompts. You can add new prompts as well. Let's go back to the article HTML prompt and select that. Under that are your user variables. And this is where you can add additional prompts that get saved into a macro. And you can use that macro again later in your article prompt. We can choose how many times this article prompt is run with article count. And we can also insert scraped content into our AI generated articles. Scraped articles is another generator and it starts with choosing a template. If you are using some link building tools like GSA SER, you'll notice that it already has a template which allows you to create a project file which you can then import with one click. For each article, we can choose how many paragraphs content. We have the paragraph spin size. So it just says the number of paragraphs bound together. We can choose how many articles to create. Based on the number of content we scrape, we can also get SEO Content Machine to create as many unique articles as it can. We have the ability to choose how many keywords appear in one article. Normally you're probably used to having one keyword per article. If you want to have more keywords per article, such as using one keyword and a couple of sub keywords, you can use the all keywords in article option. You have the ability to ignore content or URLs when scraping. And this comes in useful once you've run a task at least once, because it gives you a preview of all the content that's available from the content cache. And you can see in real time how you can filter out content you don't need. If you have existing articles on your hard drive and all you want to do is maybe rewrite them and add some new content via content inserts, you can go here and navigate to where those articles are on your hard drive and process them using the article creator tool. We have Article Forge as a content source as well, but to use Article Forge, you do need to enter your own API key. All content can be rewritten, and one of the first selections you can choose is whether to keep your spin text symbols within that article or not. You can choose no spin text and you can also choose to merge every article that's been created on the output drive into one super spun article. Your rewriter choices are split into some free rewriters which are provided by the program. And if you scroll, there are a couple of paid rewriters as well. Interestingly, you can use your AI writers to rewrite content. And if I select that, you'll see the ability to also choose how many times one sentence is fed back to an AI content rewriter for paraphrasing. 
you can also choose to translate all your content and here is a list of some free and paid translators that you can use. If you remember, AI Articles supports the ability to insert pre-scraped content and this is where you can choose how many URLs to scrape for content as well as whether you want to search normal or want to search news for content. You'll see that currently I've set the default search engine to Bing but when you preload SEM for the first time it will say Google and you can change this by going into settings, settings and there will be a search engine tab for you to change the default search. Here are your task settings. So these are generic settings which you'll see on most tasks such as your task name, the file name that's the article being saved as, as well as the location of the article. You can choose to run most tasks on a schedule. For example, you can have this article creator run every 15 minutes. And you can do that by playing with the schedule selection here. You can also get your task after it's finished running to run another task. The way to do that is to click get tasks, which will load this list, and then you can choose another task to run. You can choose to run itself as well, and all they'll do is make your task run infinitely. You can cache any scraped content to save time on reruns. There are a couple of macros which you can use throughout the task settings. You've already encountered two, such as keyword and language. Some of these macros cannot be used in AI prompts though. Moving on to article inserts. So here's a list of everything that you can insert into your article. You can actually hover over this menu and see all the items from the top. To do a quick example, if I want to insert images into my article, first thing I need to do is enable the content insert. And here I can select how many images to insert, as well as the source of the content for the images. There's even a scrape images tool. So I can find images that are outside my keyword and add them to my article automatically. There are a lot of inserts, so it's going to take too much time to cover them one by one in depth. So please feel free to click through the list and have a look. Most of it's pretty simple. All you do is insert properties and parameters. Once you're happy with the task settings, you can click save, or if you want, you can choose to run it now, which is what I'm going to do. When your task is run and you select it, you can see below the task log and by keeping an eye on the task log, you can keep a close watch on exactly what the task is doing. Right now it's querying Bing and downloading my scraped content. For your article creator task, you can copy log, you can email this log, you can also export the task and you can hide the log, which you can view again by clicking on your task. When the task is finished running, you can click on this button here to preview your article. There's also a locate button for you to navigate to the location of the article on your hard drive. And you can also copy the output path, which you can then use later in other tasks. If you want to edit your task again, you click on this edit button. This is the remove task button. For some more additional controls, you have duplicate task. You can export your task, which you can then import into another copy of SEO Content Machine. If you are interested, you can view the location of cached content, as well as locate the data for the task. Looking at the task log, I can see the article creator has finished running. So I'm going to click on preview article. So here is my content. This article was created by an AI writer and it's inserted my article image as well. It's actually embedded it. And I can see a HTML preview on the right hand side. 
That covers the basics of the article creator when using the AI writer. If you have any questions, you can always go to contact us at seocontentmachine.com.